Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Mozambican guy. My name is Alcidi Suarez, and thank you so much if you're enjoying uh, watching my episodes. Thank you so much for those three, four people who are watching. I'm very thankful because at the end of the day, why I'm keep doing this is not for the sake of having many viewers. That will be really amazing. But if I can impact just only one person, that will be wonderful for me. I would be. Uh, I still feel that I'm, I will be fulfilled. And the other thing is that you know. I am trying to set my mindset in a way that I don't necessarily depend on the amount of viewers that I have for producing the content. I'm just producing it for the sake of feeling that I'm doing something, feeling that I'm feeling busy and I'm improving each day. So those are the things that I really wanted to get clear out of it. But then is one other, other thing is just, I wanna make sure that I'm kind of inspiring someone out there beside being in this pandemic crisis thing. I'm hoping that someone will watch this video, someone will get inspired, someone will forget about everything and someone will kind of start doing something for their lives because I mean, life will keep going even after this so let's us kind of put an, our mindset in the right place so that we can be productive let's roll the intro and we'll come back in a few So, um, well, uh, this is one of the lessons from the many episodes. I don't know if this is episode six. I don't know if this is episode. I don't know if this is episode six. But I'm hoping that through all these episodes, you seeing that I had to start somewhere um, to put my mindset in a way that I knew that I wasn't. I wasn't being a professional. I was just guessing everything that I was doing. So for me, it was very important to put myself in a position where I felt that I wasn't just watching tutorials and learning from many professionals uh, on YouTube, but I was applying that knowledge as well. So this was one of my ex excuse from, you know, to start, you know, taking pictures, start filming. And I wanted to have a company, something that was legit. So I had to start learning and convincing myself that I didn't know enough about photography and cinematography. This episode, I'm about to share a few uh, photos to section that we did, myself, Alex, and Lotte. So what we did was, um, even after taking the first photo shoot section with uh, Telurio, we wanted to do as many photo shots as we could so that we would learn to take control of you know, the strobes in the studio. In that case, would be like our speed light and we had only one uh, softbox and we had like that background that I just told you about in a few uh, previous episode. And so we wanted to get control because we were seeing so many friends of ours that are photographers were taking pictures at the studio, but we were taking pictures, a lot of them are outside. So we were like, really have to, you know, start learning how to deal with those kind of things. So this is one of the episodes that I'm about to show you. It will be very short. It's me showing you all the photos to section, not all of them, but some of it, you know, and some, um, be, um, I would say, um, some before and after the editing as well. So this was really a, an amazing opportunity for me to learn all these um, things. So I hope you guys enjoy. It was really amazing experience for me sometimes to get myself out of or controlling everything and be a leader. That's why I end up giving Alex the opportunity to take some of the pictures of our clients. Um, they weren't like really big clients, but was really uh, something that we had to kind of start giving some uh, opportunities to each other so that we can explore more what was in our mind and what was in our skills. And I had to give you opportunity as well to Lotte for that reason, so that he could, he could figure out what in what um, uh, level of the process he was and what stage of the process he was. And as well, um, I want to share with you some before and after uh, the photo shoot section and the editing part because those are the things that I, I also end up learning a lot uh, from it, from uh, you know, learning to retouch, learning to clean up a background. Those are really useful skills that I had to learn. So um, I'm very thankful the fact that we had. Uh, um, to put ourselves in a mindset of, you know, if we had really big clients, in what level we would deal with them. And we had to learn uh, to, to do a tether system. Um, beside back then, we only had one computer, which is the computer that was using for uh, 
um, the the turn system was the same computer I was using for the editing and everybody we like with three guys and all of us were just focused on just one computer which you can, you can imagine like three guys we, all of us we wanted to learn to take pictures all of us wanted to learn to film and to edit pictures and stuff so we had only one camera uh, one uh, speed light but all of the pictures thus far I had to edit them because I wanted to learn so that would have something to you know teach my guys so this lesson was really an amazing part of my journey because it was was the time that I had to take pictures and take pictures as many as I could so that I could learn and edit as many pictures as I could I was kind of you know figure out how to work with raw files and how to do a great job in Lightroom and have Photoshop it was really nice and I hope this you you liked my journey so far and if you liked please don't forget to follow me on my social media and hit the bell icon and subscribe to my channel give the thumbs up my name is Asil Sowarish thank you so much muito obrigado merci beaucoup Kanimambo and see you on the next one cheers <laughs>